I'm going to show you an easy way to diagnose and fix this power supply. All you need to do is a visual inspection of these capacitors. I will also show you a more advanced diagnostic technique in a bit, but first let's take a look at it under the microscope. First, we're going to look at these three capacitors. As you can tell, the top of the capacitor is nice and flat, so that means these are good. But if we move on to these four capacitors, we can tell the top is rounded out, it's bulging. If we zoom in on them a little bit more, we can even tell that there's a little bit of a brown leaking electrolytic fluid at the top. And that's going to be an indicator that the capacitors are bad. Now let's take a look at these three down here, and those are fine. If you want to try and fix the board yourself, we'll have a kit available on our website, which will be linked in the description below, as well as the full mail-in repair service for you to send us the whole board. Now before we start the repair, I did tell you we're going to be showing you a more advanced diagnostic technique. The advanced diagnostic technique is going to involve having an ESR meter such as this one, and once we have the capacitor removed out of circuit, we can connect it directly to it. This is a 1000 microfarad capacitor, and it is written in circuit slash leaky. And so this is our replacement capacitor, and when I connect it, we get 987, that's kind of hard to see on screen, but we have 987 microfarad, and it's saying 0 0.1 ohm for the ESR reading. So this is a good capacitor, and that's what we're gonna to wanna to install to repair our board. If you have found the video helpful so far, make sure to leave us a like, and I'm gonna start by lifting off the capacitors with my needle nose pliers. And on the back side over here is where the joints are for the legs of the capacitors. So I'm going to start by adding some solder to each joint. And with one hand on the back side, I'm going to desolder one joint at a time, kind of wiggling the capacitor back and forth until it comes fully out of the board. We'll do that three more times. And there we go, that's all four. Next, I'm gonna be using my desolder pump to get rid of the excess solder. So I'll go ahead and melt the solder. Just like that. So back on our front side, we'll go ahead and remove some of that excess silicone. And now we can go ahead and feed through our replacement capacitors. The capacitors do have one side with the negative sign and there's a black bar on the negative side on the board. So that's how we know the orientation. And we'll go ahead and lay them down. Now to hold them in place, I'm gonna bend the pins out like that. Like that, I can let go of them and they don't fall out. We'll go ahead and cut off the excess leads and we'll give it a quick little clean with some isopropyl alcohol and our toothbrush. I finished the replacement of the other seven capacitors off screen, so that does complete our repair. If you found the video helpful or useful, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.